Good morning. Welcome back to the channel to a brand new ride starting from Chandigarh and we are headed towards Manali today. Let me just reset the trip meter 884 kilometers yesterday from Udaipur to Chandigarh to Oyo Chima House or Chima Holiday Home something like that. I'll put the link in the description to this hotel you can check it out. Owner's a nice guy. I'll put his number as well so you can book directly with him. He'll give you a good rate. I think we have to go this way. This way. Let me reset the trip meter going off and zero. Let's go. Let's go this way. You turn. We came from that side yesterday and today we are getting out of Chandigarh through here. Nice and foggy little day. Backfiring engines this morning. We have fat bikes here. Labrador is walking in the morning. 7 hours 34 minutes it says arrival time is 1 30 pm it's already 5 48 on the clock getting out of chandigarh is not easy i don't know how much of this you guys can see but there's dense fog here and i can barely see 50 or 70 meters ahead 290 kilometers total riding distance today and uh, it's gonna take us eight hours to do that because uh, you know we're up in the hills now moving forward from chandigarh we'll take the chandigarh sundarnagar mandi and then buntar and manali uh, we'll take that route this looks like the back and beyond of chandigarh really shady this place <laughs> Well, Chandigarh was a beautiful experience. Whatever little riding around I did in the city yesterday for fixing the bikes and filling up fuel and uh, setting the chain, everything. Whatever little I saw of Chandigarh was very pretty, very neatly organized. It's all rows and columns in Chandigarh, the streets. Well, Chandigarh is also known to be the most well-planned city in the country. And I certainly saw that yesterday. Siswan Dam, 800 meters ahead. Okay, this is Siswan Community Reserve. As you look to your left, you will find a wonderful view of the Siswan Dam Reservoir. Okay, ready to go. We had aloo paratha and coffee here. No, not coffee. Tea. Alu paratha tea and bottle of water was 120 rupees. Last night we had dinner that was 450 rupees. Food total at the hotel we stayed was 600 rupees. 7:15 a.m. We have covered 28 kilometers in one and a half hours. Beautiful. We'll stop somewhere on the way mostly at Mandi at around 11 o'clock because I have a couple of calls to make work calls oh by the way in the last uh, half an hour of riding we crossed three states first we entered Punjab from Chandigarh after riding for 20 minutes or so we crossed into Haryana after riding in Haryana for 20 minutes or so we crossed into Himachal Pradesh Siswan dam that we saw was in Punjab and then we rode for 10 minutes in Haryana and then Alu Paratha tea stall was in Himachal so it's just mix of borders here kya ho raha hai ji kaam chal raha na main samjha koi gir gaya such large rocks slabs of stone actually dad didn't stop to see so he's going out of bluetooth range so i'm going to speed up and catch up with him so i'm standing here because this guy needed air in his tires well not his tires but you get the point we are extremely slow today as usual i don't know why we are going so slow he has to stop everywhere to have tea and talk to the locals and socialize such a social butterfly he is look at him smiling and talking to this man he'll just very generously donate his life story to everybody okay now we've started to see glimpses of the pure Himachali scenery. You can see some mountains over there on the right. In the distance, I wouldn't call them very large mountains, but yeah, they're pretty big. Not Himachali big or not Himalayas big yet, but uh, all in good time. The air has gotten a little less dense and we can feel it, can feel the, uh, the heat dropping from the air. You know, we can feel the bike losing power as in the engine is getting less and less oxygen every minute well we are not very high up yet but uh, 
you know we're getting there we're, we're slowly climbing it's just it's a great feeling coming back to himachal after three long years himachal has always been very special to me and to shagun the last time we came to himachal was in 2019 when we went to manali and then we went to dharamshala mcleod ganj those five or six days in himachal were pure bliss it was all in all really amazing Uh, the people are so warm the weather is so cool we came in december so it was much colder than it is right now and i can't wait to get to manali because it's one of my favorite destinations it's one of my favorite holiday spots it places right there after goa right so goa is the epitome of a holiday for me as it is for many other people i know it's a cliche but i love goa for a different reason it's a different vibe it's a different relationship goa and i share but right after that comes manali manali is like a piece of heaven we've never been north of manali solang nala but that's pretty much manali we haven't been north of that yet you know this is the right season this is the right time to go up north further from manali especially now there's the atal tunnel back in 2019 we didn't have that so rohtang was closed and we couldn't go to leh this time it's i'm i'm feeling positive look at those hills man look at those mountains well not mountains hills but look at it it's beautiful it's a beautiful morning i'm feeling very chirpy and happy it's just how i feel inside we spent a lot of time back there trying to fix and correct dad's bag on his bike the bungee cords were kind of letting go and the bag was drooping to one side very dangerously so we stopped we fixed the uh, actually we pulled off all the bungee cords then we changed the position of the bag we kind of shifted some weight inside and then we put the cords back again we are reaching swarghat in 13 kilometers the time is 8:41 it's been uh, well close to 3 hours since we left home we left the hotel and we've done only 63 kilometers that's just the kind of speed you have when you're up in the mountains up in the hills lovely happen bend starting here and uh, i am enjoying this ride my dad is enjoying the ride oh yeah that's one more thing i wanted to talk to you about why we are taking this trip or why i planned this trip with dad i mean i've been planning it for a long time now but you know the reason why i wanted to take him up to manali or somewhere north of manali as far as we can go is because he's never been to manali he's never been to the north except for that one time we all went to katra and vaishno devi but other than that he said he's never seen snow in his life as in natural snow in his life he's 70 1 years old and uh, he hasn't seen snow ever in his life well you know because he was pretty busy trying to make me and my sister see and enjoy snow so both him and my mom you know they kind of dedicated their lives and everything to their children to us to me and my sister well right now it's uh, just my dad i'm taking up north you know to see snow but mom also hasn't seen it so i want to take her too but she can't come on the bike so we'll bring the car next time around we'll all come you know family trip yeah that's going to happen pretty soon as well fingers crossed yeah i really want him to enjoy snow and <laughs> he's all excited about seeing snow and getting his pictures taken and uh, putting them up on facebook <laughs> dads i tell you look at him let me talk to him ah having fun old man <laughs> yeah amazing road no welcome to himachal we are pretty high up in the hills i can see clouds beneath us amazing amazing what a lovely view what a red mandir Amazing view. Stopping here at Hill View Dhaba for a quick tea and coffee break. I hope the hill view is as good as the name suggests. Let's see. Namaste ji. चाय कॉफी मिलेगा 
यहाँ जा सकते हैं हो 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 या इट्स अ हिल व्यू कैफे वेरी नाइस वेरी नाइस लेट्स एंजॉय सम टी सिटिंग बाय द विंडो लुकिंग एट द हिल द हिल व्यू ढाबा नियर स्वार घाट विल स्टे इम्प्रिंटेड इन माई मेमरी फॉर एवर एंड नॉट जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ द व्यू इफ यू हैव बिन फॉलोइंग दिस जर्नी ऑफ आर सो फार देन यू शुड गो बैक एंड सी दी अदर टू वीडियोज फ्रॉम द सीरीज ऑन आर चैनल एंड इफ यू हैव देन यूल नो एग्जैक्टली वॉट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट राइट आफ्टर वी फिनिश्ड आर कॉफीज एंड लेफ्ट फ्रॉम द ढाबा द गोप्रो माइक्रोफोन स्टॉप रिकॉर्डिंग एंड स्टेड दैट वे ऑल द वे अप टू मनाली Now we are left with over 50 gigabytes of footage spanning more than 200 kilometers with zero audio. So the only thing left for me to do is lay my voice over the recorded video. And just to make it a little more interesting for you, let me add a bit of background music as well. Anyway, Let's resume our journey. In a few minutes, we reach the outskirts of Swarghat and turn towards Bilaspur. Riding on, we caught the first glimpse of the beautiful Satluj River and even the Gobind Sarovar Reservoir in the distance, formed by the marvelous Bhakra Dam. It was as if the GoPro mic wasn't enough. I had to face more trouble along the way. The metal bracket holding one of the accessory lights on my bike broke off owing to the many kilometers of vibration and I had to tie it up with some gauze bandage that I pulled out of my first aid kit it still wouldn't hold so I had to pull it off and put the light in my bag by then I'd asked dad to move on ahead and for the next hour or so we enjoyed the ride individually I caught up with him at the edge of Bilaspur and had to make a few phone calls for work so I asked him to go on ahead finish my calls and left by around 11:20 a.m. On the way I ran into a few Himachali boys who were quite friendly so I got them to subscribe to the channel Meanwhile random dad appeared and we rode together for a while until I had to make another work call and asked him to go on ahead At one point I rode over a bridge crossing the mighty Satluj bidding her farewell and riding on towards Sundarnagar and Mandi where we would meet her sister Beas a few kilometers ahead we caught the first actual glimpse of the Himalayas at Sundarnagar the road opened up and became much cleaner the landscape turned greener the mountains grew higher and the air grew cooler we rode through the lovely mountain roads until we ended up at Mandi at around lunch time i met dad near mandi and we had a delicious fulfilling lunch at riverview bhojanale and banquet spent 650 bucks on it i stayed back and got work done for an hour and a half or so while dad moved on ahead promising to meet me near bunter and i left at around 2:30 pm following in dad's tire treads i rode into the valley towards out and bunter practically in the lap of the beas river encountering some traffic and experiencing some wildlife along the way i crossed the magical beas at pando and came so close to the water it felt as if i could practically bend down and touch it i came across a tunnel construction site and recalled that crash shagun and i had on our ride to manali in 2019 we were riding at very slow speeds The road was slushy and the sun had gone down. It was the first time we were experiencing sub-zero temperatures and had no idea what black ice was. So, I'll tell you what black ice is. It's a thin layer of water that freezes over the tarmac road, looking just like water, but is actually ice. You won't even realize when you have slipped, and the next thing you know, you're kissing the ice-cold road. Somewhere around this place we slipped and crashed but didn't hurt ourselves. The bike was damaged a bit but we got it fixed at Manali. Moving on, I met a massive mean menacing mountain and then a weird sequence of a tunnel turning into a bridge turning into another tunnel 
and just a few kilometers ahead i found myself riding through some slush and remembered that this was exactly where shagun and i had fallen some time later i stopped to let a truck move ahead because it was too close to the edge of the cliff and i was afraid that it would break some rocks off and they would fall on me soon the road opened up and i could pick up some speed leading up to the out tunnel also called the gateway to kullu the tunnel was long and dusty and i came out on the other side to meet with bias river again while i admired the scenery around me i got a call from dad who had stopped near kullu and had found a lovely spot by the river to wait for me i caught up with him and then we rode together all the way to manali <laughs> we said hola como estas to sombrero wearing senior omni whose full time job is to transport river rafts from the end point to the start we then crossed the last toll booth before manali and we could already feel the mountain town's magic in our lungs finally we got to manali at around 5:30 pm crossing the entry post after paying a green tax of 100 rupees per bike which was valid for an entire week we stopped straight at club mahindra white meadows resort our home for the next two nights here we are 285 kilometers done for the day with average of 38.5 kilometers per liter is the best so far on this ride you know my slow one yes and we have come 1860 kilometers from home with a total average of 37.4 which is good and we are here at club mahindra white meadows in manali it looks really amazing simply superb look at that big mountain in the background so we are going to check in now and uh, i am going to start working and uh, what else how do you feel fine very cold <laughs> <laughs> it's cold yeah. it's not very cold it's average cold 18 okay. degrees or something but it's going to get colder as we go forward so looking forward to that very nice are you tired no absolutely can you do 100 more kilometers no not no, no. 200 kilometers still i can ride okay that is too much too much okay we're going to rest now he is going to explore manali i'm going to work so new video will come out later if you like this video thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because we need Thank your you help much. yes okay i just thought i should give you a quick room tour as well this is my bed where i am going to sleep like a king that's the view from there it's on the other side but i'm going to have to keep that window closed because insects might come in and uh, let me show you the other part of the room is just lovely you won't believe it this is the living area this two couches and this is the balcony with a view and what a view is just amazing is just mind boggling the view and that's where dad is going to sleep like a well bigger king all our luggage here all our gear in the cupboard here dad's taking a shower now let me show you outside here there is a spa and that's the reception where we came in from and oh shit did i lock myself i just locked myself out and he's in the shower so i'm just going to stick around here for a while it's how stupid of me anyway catch you guys later the next day mr gurleen thank you so much aapne hamara kaam kar diya mic jo kharab tha हम यहाँ पर लेने आए महाराजा फोटोग्राफर में इट्स राइट ऑपोजिट क्लब महिंद्रा व्हाइट मेडोज बहुत अच्छा स्टोर है जो चाहिए आपको मिल जाएगा यहाँ पे एंड मिस्टर गुरलीन थैंक यू चलिए नमस्ते मिलते हैं बाय द माइक इशू इज रिजॉल्व आई वाज सो हार्ट ब्रोकन दैट ऑल माय फुटेज फ्रॉम चंडीगढ़ टू मनाली आई मीन हाफ ऑफ इट वॉज गॉन बट नाउ दिस इज अ ग्रेट थिंग एक्चुअली द माइक अडेप्टर द टी आर एस टू टी आर आर एस अडेप्टर दैट वॉज फॉल्टी I was trying to fix that, but he gave me a microphone that doesn't need an adapter. So brilliant! Now we are headed to Manali Mall Road. I'm going to sit down in a cafe and continue working for the day while Dad will explore Manali and you know nearby places. Both these bikes were washed this morning, and uh, we spent hundred bucks each on a 
pressure wash and uh, we had breakfast for uh, i think 140 bucks 150 bucks something like that parathas and coffees and 400 bucks for the mic i'm going to put that down in the expense for this trip as well because you know it is an expense for the trip but it's going to last me a long time so i'm very happy yeah that's the plan for today for manali and i'll see you guys in the manali mall road Oh I forgot to mention after washing both bikes both of the chains were looped as well so we did that so that's sorted the only thing left i feel is uh, you know i need to find a way to fix the fog lamp here some sturdy way to fix the fog lamp here and once that's done and uh, you know the tire is filled with air as well i check pressure this one was low that bike was fine once that's done i think we are sorted and uh, all our troubles will be gone so i'm just happy it's a happy happy morning a lot of work got done it's 12 pm now and uh, we are headed actually 12:20 we're going to go and sit down at a cafe where there's wifi hopefully if not i've got my phone internet happy morning happy wednesday morning in manali okay this is manali mall road uh, which is the shopping district of manali yeah i know but parking where to park where to park ile you have to park and walk bhai bike parking kahan milegi aage hai acha shukriya that's where i leave dad he is gone he's on his way to solang solang nala where he is going to find snow hopefully he'll take pictures he promised if not well he'll just enjoy ye wo mera ek fog light gir gaya hai uska jo bracket hai wo toot gaya hai to wo khali bracket dekh mein na aap aapke paas hoga to na na fir aapko aage milega kya naam hai ji dimple art dimple isi line mein hai isi jagah acha acha shukriya ji so i have to find a bracket for that one for the fog lamp and i have to check the tourism office if i need a permit to go to leh uh, if we need permits for the bike because you need a permit if you're renting a bike from here but if it's your own bike then you don't need a permit at least that's what the uh, a local guy we spoke to uh, a tourist guide he told us so i just have to check once at the tourism office because i want to be double sure and then i'll go back to the hotel room actually don't want to sit at a cafe or anything i don't know if there'll be wifi maybe i'll go back to the room i don't know let's see tourism information center tourist information center and office of district tourism development officer this is mall road this is where it starts there's no vehicles allowed in mall road so i just quickly inquired the gentleman said you don't need a permit to go to leh as long as you don't go via rohtang we plan to go by atal tunnel so nothing to worry about there the only caveat is he said some time ago there was bad weather after barla chala and uh, there was snow so the road was shut they were closed so he's not sure if the roads open now he asked me to check with the bus drivers at the hrtc bus stop they will know for sure because they keep coming and going so i'm just going to the bus stop now to ask but i don't know where the bus stop is so i'm going to ask this lovely gentleman here namaste ji uh, ye hrtc bus stop kahan par hai राइट ले लेना अच्छा counter i checked with the gentleman there he said you know the roads are open but buses are not going so it all depends on the weather now if the weather gods allow us to go we can go if not if it snows in then we are stuck and we are stuck wherever we are if we go on ahead and get stuck then we can't come back so shukriya ji thank you and uh, that's the scene we can go so we will go <laughs> but we don't know if not if we don't know when we will be able to go and come back so timing is all up to the weather gods here you are at their mercy and uh, there was this nepali gentleman at the ticket counter he wanted to <laughs> buy a ticket for directly for nepal from here so the ticketing officer he just kept saying aapko chandigarh jana padega you will have to go to chandigarh and you know chandigarh or ambala and then take a ticket from there but he wouldn't listen he said i don't want two tickets i want one ticket all the way to nepal so this guy said we don't have buses going to nepal from here 
anyway so that was a scene worth witnessing yep back to the hotel thing i think I think there is going to be some sacrifice. It's a changing of the guard. Beautiful, beautiful experience. Beautiful scenery. Look at that Bayas River. Woo! That was a sight worth remembering. Okay, I tried to look for a bike mechanic all along the way, but I couldn't find one. This tire guy, right outside a hotel, uh, he told me there's one. There was one on the way, but I didn't see any. He does some minor welding, tinkering work, regular bike repairs. I'll have to finish some work before I go there because it's already 1:15. I need to get work done, so I'm just going to go back to the room and get some work done and in the evening after dad's back i'll go there and get that fixed namaste ji okay back to the room but before that let me show you this view isn't that just epic look at the size of that mountain that one's our room 212 there's 210 209 all of these there's some right at the edge of the river also the view from up here is epic look at that man snow capped mountains going to see more of those tomorrow for today it's the hotel room and work okay bye Yes, how was so long? So long was nice. Yes. Ropeway is also there. Ropeway is there. Small stone covil. No, it's a cart. It's a special one. It's a snowmobile. And the track is a caterpillar track. ATV. Four wheeler. Manali. We parked the bike here. We walked to the mall road. We we fueled up as in ourselves. We had uh, I mean it was the first time my father has ever tried Chinese cuisine. We were at Chopsticks at the mall road. They've got Chinese and Japanese cuisine and some Tibetan food as well. We had uh, Szechuan fried rice and we had veg spring roll. Some nice beer to wash it down and uh, the bill came to a thousand bucks. in total on the way back from mall road i got a i got a strip of dimox uh, we have to take three doses once every morning after breakfast for the next 3 days it's going to help us you know keep uh, altitude sickness and motion sickness at bay yeah the chemist told us we have to take that but i'm going to check with my dad's physician on the phone once before letting him have that this is a hrtc bus stop again and now we head back to the hotel going to just chill for the evening maybe have dinner maybe not because we are quite full the szechuan fried rice was very spicy and we thought it would be like mumbai szechuan and we tried the szechuan sauce as well it was very spicy it was only chili no salt no nothing it was quite spicy and it's getting quite cold here in manali i'm wearing nothing but track pants and a jersey so i'm feeling the chill and it's just going to get colder through the night i'm going to just layer up and be warm as much as possible today and tomorrow and in the following days if you like this video you can press that button 
at the bottom if you really liked it and want to watch the rest of the series then hit the subscribe button it's red in color you won't miss it and hit the bell icon also so you get notifications on your phone as soon as we upload a new video it's chilly i'm shivering and i'm going to bed now so i'll see you guys tomorrow until then bye bye